I usually use Google Reader to follow RSS feeds, but it's going to be closing soon. So I'm going to bring in RSS feed for my blog into Excel. I've set up a worksheet with a title. I'm going to start the RSS list in cell B3. First thing I'm going to do though is copy a link to that feed. So I'll go to my blog and down on the right hand side is a button with an RSS symbol. If I right click on that, click copy to location, I now have that link on the clipboard. So going back to Excel, I'm going to the developer tab and if you don't see the developer tab on your ribbon, just right click somewhere on the ribbon, click customize the ribbon and put a check mark here for the developer tab. So on the developer tab in the XML group, click source. And that opens up a task pane for the XML source. We don't have any maps in this workbook yet, so I'm going to create a new one. I'll click the XML maps button. I'll click the add button. And in here where it says file name, I'll press control V to paste what's on my clipboard. That's the RSS feed address. Click open and you might see a message telling you that it doesn't refer to a schema. So just click OK. And there's my map. I'm going to rename it instead of RSS map. I'll click rename and call that CTX blog. And now click OK. And in the XML source task pane, I can see that RSS feed. I'll scroll down till I can see the item. And this will be the blog post information. Click on item and that selects everything below it. And I'm going to drag that word item into cell B3 where I want the list. Now I can close that task pane. So here's my list. It's just the headings right now. And I'm going to click on one of the cells in the table and click refresh. So now things have filled in. If I scroll down, I can see a list of all the blog posts. The rows are very tall. So to adjust that, I'm going to click on the select all button and then just slightly adjust the height of row three and that adjusts all of the selected rows. So now I can see the full list. I'm going to keep some of these columns and delete some that I don't need. So the title I'll definitely keep. The link is for the RSS feed and I'm going to delete that column. So I'll click on that column and then right click on one of the cells and click delete table column. And then we have a link to the comments. So I'll keep that and the publication date. The creator, I don't need that. So with that column selected, I'll press the F4 key to repeat the delete column command. Category, I'll keep this GUID that I don't need to keep. So I'll delete that. Also the permalink, the description encoded, I'll delete those. Number of comments is useful information. And here's the original blog link. And it looks like this comments link is a duplicate as well. So I'll delete it. Now I have just the columns I want to keep. I could type a new heading or the number of comments and call this the link. So you can change the headings and tip that I learned on the Microsoft Excel blog is in, instead of showing this big long link, I'm going to change the formatting. Click to select that column and on the home tab, click the launch button for number, create a custom format of three semicolons and then in double quotes, the word link. Click OK. So I can make that column narrower and the same thing for this link. If I adjust the column widths and then refresh, it might automatically readjust the widths of those columns. So I'm going to right click on one of the cells, click XML and then XML map properties and remove the check mark for adjust column width. Click OK. So now if I refresh, it doesn't change any of the column widths. I can move the columns in the table too. I'd rather have the article link closer to the article title. So I'll select column G and drag to the left pressing the right mouse button as I drag and then shift right and move. So now there's the article and the link and this comments article, I'll select that column and move it over to the right. So now we have comments and the comment link over at the far right. So in this table now I can click on a link to go and see it. Click here, it takes me to the blog where I can read the article. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.